This is a parabolic archway. It is 12 meters wide at the base. At a height of 10 meters, the arch is 8 meters wide. Find the maximum height of the arch. So this is a parabolic archway. What they're saying at the base, it is 12 meters wide. Okay, and a height of 10 meters, this is a 10 meters, it is 8 meters wide. Okay, so we need to find this point. Okay, what's the maximum height? This is what they are asking. The question is, what is the maximum? This is the maximum height. I hope you can visualize this. So this is what they're asking. Okay, so let's first uh, change this into x and y axis. So this is your y axis. And this is your x-axis. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to copy this, uh, copy, and I'm going to paste it here so that you understand. So this is the same graph, or this is the same arch rate as here. So yeah, this is your x-axis, and this is your y-axis. So this is 12 meters wide. So this is your origin. So this, I hope you can understand, this is negative 6 and this is positive 6. So this is 12 meters wide. And this is, say, this point. So let me draw. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so this is 1, 2, 3. So I'll go 1, 2, 3. So this point, at the coordinate of this point, so this is 8 meters wide. So let me drop. So I hope you understand. This would be negative 4, comma 10 because your height is 10 meters and the width is 8 meters. So you go 4 to the left, which is negative 4, and 4 to the right, which is 4 comma 10. So basically, this is what you want to find. Okay, the coordinate of this would be 0. Let me name that as 0 C. This point is 0 comma C, and the question is basically, what is C? Okay, so this is a parabola. So the equation of any parabola, so what's, let's look at the transformation. The transformation is it has gone C up. It, has got, it hasn't gone to the left or right. So this is how you always start to write an equation of a parabola. Y is equal to A times A gives you the uh, scale factor. That is X minus 0. You can also write plus 0. Uh, and it has gone up, so I'll write plus C. So this implies... The equation is y is equal to ax squared plus c. Okay, so we need to find a and c. So what do we know? So we know when x is, x is say, 6, what is y? When x is 6, y is. So this point, I hope you understand, this point 6 is nothing but 6 comma 0. And this point, negative 6 is negative 6 comma zero. So when x is six, y is zero. So in place of x I can put six and in place of y I can put zero. So let's put this back in this equation. So I can say zero is equal to a times six squared plus c, which implies this equation is thirty six a plus c equal to zero. So this is your first equation. Okay, so this is equation one. Okay, what else can we put? We can put, we know, let, let's put this point. We know when x is, when let me do it here, when x is four, y is 10. You can put any point. So I'm going to put in this point four comma 10. So again, I'm going to put this back in this equation. So I can say 10 is equal to a times four, squared plus c. So this implies 10 is equal to 16a plus c. So these are two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. So this has become simultaneous equation and we need to solve it. So I'm going to write 36a plus c is equal to 0 and 16a plus c is equal to zero. So this is equation two and this is equation one. So what I'm going to do is in the next step I'm going to do two minus one. So I'm going to take away equation one from a. So I'm asking the question 36a take away 16a. So I'm going to take away this is take away. 
So 36A take away 16A is 20A. C take away C will get cancelled. Okay, I made a mistake here. I should have written here 10. I should have written here 10. So this is equal to 0 take away 10 is negative 10. So I'm dividing both sides by 20. So A is negative 10 over 20, which is negative half. And negative half is 0 point, negative 0 0.5. So I have found A. I now need to find C. So the equation is Y is equal to, let me write the equation again, Y is equal to AX squared plus C. And we have figured out A. So Y is negative 0 0.5 x squared plus c. Okay, so now uh, what can we do? Okay, so now we need to figure out c. So let's put again this equation. We already know when x is 4, y is 10. So I'm going to again put this back in this equation to figure out c. So 10 is equal to, this is negative 0 0.5 times 4 squared plus c. So 10 is equal to, this is negative 0 0.5 times 16 plus c. You can use a calculator, so using logic, this is negative 8 plus c. So I hope you understand c is adding 8 to both sides, c is 18. So your final answer, so let me use a different color, blue color is a good color. So y is equal to negative 0 0.5 x squared plus 80. So we need to check our answer using the graphic calculator. So the answer is, so maximum height is C, so C is 18. So the maximum height the arch reaches is 18 meters. So the answer is 18 meters. So let's con confirm this on the calculator. If you have a graphic calculator, get, uh, so let me scroll up so that I can see the equation. Okay, so go to graph and type in the equation negative 0 0.5x squared plus 18. Okay, so I need to set the scale, so shift F3. This is good, but I want to increase the y from 0 to 20. Okay, so and the scale of 2 or 1 would do, and so this is your parabola. So G sol and maxima, 0, 18, just to confirm, when X is 4, when height is 10, your X coordinates are negative 4 and positive 4. So this is how you can check, G sol and go for Y calc, okay, or X calc, so let me go it again, draw it again, G sol and x calc and type in x is equal to 10. That means when the height is 10, which are the x coordinates? So, G, so can you see when x, your height is 10, your x is negative 4. And if you press this key, replay, so at 4 and negative 4, your height of the arch is 10 meters. And just to confirm negative 6 and positive 6, so G sol you can say again x calc when y is 0. Your height is 0. This is negative 6. And if you press this, this is positive 6.